just try an example to determine the required anchorage length in a reinforced concrete member. The question asks us to determine the anchorage length required for the top reinforcement bar of 25 mm bar diameter in the beam at each junction with the external column. The reinforcing steels are in tension which is resisting a hogging moment. The concrete strength is 30 newton per mm square and the steel strength is 500 newton per mm square. The beam here is an cantilever beam. With that, the top reinforcement bar here is undergoing tension. Assuming the effective span is as indicated here, the anchorage length will be as per indicated here. 2H25 is used as the top reinforcement bar. The bars are placed at 100mn offset from the side of the beam. The beam have a depth of 600mm. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solutions. In order to solve these questions, we need to refer to clause F.4.4 to obtain the equations to determine the design anchorage length. Within the equation here, we need to determine the basic anchorage length which can be referred from clause F.4.3. Within the equations for basic anchorage length, we need to determine the ultimate bone stress as referred from clause at 0.4.2. There will be considerations of the bone conditions, whether it is good or poor, and also the size of the steel bar. The design tensile strength of the concrete needs to be calculated based on the FCTK in reference with the partial factor of safety. The design strength of the steel bar is also to be divided by the partial factors of safety for the steel. We need to consider also the coefficients alpha 1 to alpha 5 based on different kinds of the anchorage conditions. And it is to ensure that the calculated design anchorage length needs to be greater than the minimum anchorage length. As the steel bar is designated for tensile stress, therefore, this equation is used to determine the minimum anchorage length. With that, let us look into the solutions to calculate the design anchorage length of the reinforcement bar. First, we need to determine the bone conditions, whether it is good or poor. The anchorage happens within the column. Based on the typical construction process of a reinforced concrete structure, a construction joint is expected to be at the same level of a reinforced concrete beam. The column is expected to be vertically cast. This leads to the overall height of the casting to be at least more than 600 mm. Based on the definitions of the bone conditions as given in Eurocode 2, the figure with the overall height H more than 600 mm is referred. The steel bar is found to be within the top 300 mm from the construction joint. This is the region which is defined with poor bone conditions. With that, we know that eta1 will be equals to 0 0.7. Next, we consider the effects of the bar size. The bar size given is 25 mm, which is less than 32 mm. Therefore, eta2 will be equals to 1.0. Next, we determine the ultimate bone stress based on this equation. The design tensile stress of the concrete is calculated based on SCTK and the factors of safety, 
which is found to be 1.33 Newton per mn square. And this gives us the ultimate bone stress to be equals to 2.09 Newton per mn square. Next, we determine the basic required anchorage length. It is in the functions of the design tensile strength of the steel as calculated based on the equation here and also the ultimate bone stress. The basic anchorage length required will be equals to 1300 mm. Next, we need to determine the coefficients of alpha 1 to alpha 5. Referring to table 8.2, the alpha 1 to alpha 5 coefficients are given. The reinforcement bar are in tensions, therefore we are referring to this column. The steel bar are bent, we shall refer to this row and this row for alpha 1 and alpha 2. In the equations for the alpha 1 and alpha 2, we need to determine CD. For the band bar, CD is determined as the minimum of A per 2 and C1. C1 is found to be 100 mm. However, A2 is not given in the question. We will assume that A2 divided by 2 will not be greater than C1 in this case. CD now is found to be 100 mm. It is found to be greater than 3 times the bar diameter size. We will know alpha 1 will be equals to 0 0.7. To determine alpha 2, this equation is referred. Substitute relevant value into the equations. Alpha 2 is found to be equals to 0 0.85. The number is between 0 0.7 and 1.0. Therefore, alpha 2 is used as 0 0.85. Next, we look into alpha 3, alpha 4, and alpha 5. The three coefficients is referring to different confinement conditions. In this case, no confinement is assumed. Therefore, alpha 3, alpha 4, and alpha 5 are irrelevant in this example. Substitute the relevant value into the equations to determine the required anchorage length. The AS required is not given in the question. Therefore, we just simply assume that AS required will be equals to AS provided, so that the ratio here will be equals to 1.0. The required anchorage length is later found to be equals to 774 mm. This is later to be checked against the tension's minimum anchorage length which later is found to be 390mm. The calculated required anchorage length of 774 is found satisfactory.